Well, Stiffy didn't have it all our own way tonight. Was that the most pleasing thing, just to be able to grind out a win? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it was a great win by the boys. Um, we sort of, it was a hard fought game. We knew it was going to be tough. They dropped uh, players behind the ball, which made it hard for our forwards. And, and every time we went forward, they, uh, you know, they had numbers behind the ball, which, which made it a lot harder. Um, to the boys' credit, we sort of stuck at it. You know, we got a few goals up at uh, half time. And, and then uh, third quarter, we were challenged. And they came back hard at us, and we, we, which the disappointing thing was we didn't respond during the quarter, but uh, three-quarter time the boys rallied and um, was, was happy enough to get away with the win and responded in that last quarter. How do you think the boys reacted to obviously not being able to play the game on their own terms? Like to kick the ball long and use Kurt and Tex, but like you said, numbers back. How do you think the boys reacted to that? Yeah, when you, we sort of spoke about it. They played a bit like that last week, so we were... We uh, knew uh, what we were in for. Um, the big, big guys with uh, Tippo and uh, Walks uh, knew they were going to be in for a hard night. All they had to do was just keep uh, competing and competing and um, give our small forwards every opportunity, which they did. And, um, so it was, it was uh, yeah, it was good. And Scott Thompson's 200th game. He was sensational again tonight. Yeah, yeah, he just keeps getting better and better. The old fella. Um, no, it's, uh, it just goes to show uh, what a fantastic player he is. He's been, uh, you know, a good player for the club for a long time now. So. Um, you know, congratulations to him on his 200th game. And yourself, you're one of the elder statesmen in the team now as well. How are you finding your footy good tonight? Just easing into a bit of form? Yeah, yeah, no, it was good to get a few touches, but, um, you know, it's not, uh, the pressure's definitely on from uh, guys below in the SANFL playing really good, so um, uh, it doesn't get any easier as you get older. You just got to keep plugging along and, um, yeah, try my best to stay on the side, I guess. Two from two, but the Hawks next week at the MCG, that'll be another big test. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we've got a few days off now, so uh, you know, it was a tough game tonight. We just got to make sure we recover well uh, and um, you know, get back on the training track. And you know, it's a good challenge for the club. We've, we've had a really, pretty good pre-season and uh, won our first two games, so uh, first real challenge for the year. So the boys be looking forward to it. The third quarter was probably the first real time. Like you said, the team wasn't able to respond within the quarter. What was Sando like at the break? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we sort of started, uh, he sort of mentioned to us that we started getting a little bit too fancy with handballs and stuff like that. We weren't playing the way that we have been playing and um, we just had to rectify that and um, you know, we started losing that contested footy in that quarter, I think we lost, so um, we had to fix that up, and which we did, which was good. Thanks, Stiffy. No worries.